Well, here we are in our new state-of-the-art podcast facility. Right. Where, from now on, things are just going to be different. The new new. That's what we got going here. New new. The new new. Yeah. And what inspired this change? Well, I'd have to say it's just the sphere, you know? Everybody's up in their game. Yeah, they're taking taking it to the next level. Taking it to the next level. We're taking it to the next. We're taking it to the next level. Yeah, this is like the sphere. You and me, we're like on a pretty big screen. Yeah, so things have happened. You know, not not, not too many fish fishy things. No. I mean, you know what? People have been saying that this week was going to be the week they dropped their spring tour. Well, I can tell you one tour we do got. <laughs> oh shit. Are you talking about like I saw the funniest fucking meme? Did you see? I went to go look for it too, and I can't find it. You know the black and white picture of fish in the woods, <laughs> of course, like <laughs> by the barn. <laughs> Someone took like the black and white picture of like Goose two point oh or three point oh maybe even because they got mustache guy first. So maybe I don't know what era we're in. I'm not a goose. We're still in one point oh. Okay. Um, anyway, it was like, <laughs> I, don't know, I just thought it was funny. It's like the same picture. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, cause they're, they're new drummers from Burlington, Vermont. I've seen many memes that was like, it's like Shapiro's like, where should we find a new drummer? And everyone's like, look in Vermont. <laughs> it's where we found ours. Yeah. Good grief. Anyway. Good grief. Goose, anyway. Goose is not coming to the West Coast. There's no more. So, you it's know. too bad. There's a lot of, you know, disappointment in that. Yeah. So they're going to add more dates for sure. Oh, yeah. they're not busy. Okay. Well, they're probably going to like add some festy dates, you know. But you know, tickets costs- are like almost two hundred bucks a pop, and for me? at the Roxy, at the I think not the Roxy, Fox Theater. Sorry, mm-hmm. got it mixed up. The Fox in Atlanta, yep. they're like four hundred right now. Like face. I don't know, just on ticket, tick pick. Ah, uh, wow. So this this episode is sponsored by Tick Pick. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm well, just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Listen, there they there is apparently a lot of demand for the jam band scene. Yeah, you're right. So, no. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. They need like a, a heady beer. They need a venue so they can consume their consumables. Right. And yeah. enjoy and not be like, ins, 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 ins. because that's the only other option. But we did get ins a little bit. We so. got, you and me got ins. We got ins. I had a really good time getting ins. You really did. You really did. You went in to visit your, your old buddy, Brownie. My old buddy. <laughs> I mean. You guys have been hanging out since like the nineties. I haven't seen them live since hiatus. Yeah, I that, you know I like, haven't seriously. seen them live since like a Bonnaroo more than ten years ago. I mean that's better than me. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm happy we went. I'm happy we went too. You know, I wanted to go. I I. Am understanding more now the demographic of a, a disco biscuits crowd, okay, which is required by the music that they perform, which is like NC but jammy NC. I mean, it's, it's a disco. hybrid. It's a hybrid. There's no disco music with some dis- with some biscuits on it. <laughs> There's no disco music, but, but it's there is electronic. a lot of electronic. You know, like there's what I love. They find a groove and they just I'll they get the hammer it. They, Slip into slip it. into that yeah. pocket, and they just hang out there for long, a long time. Not necessarily like they're improvising, obviously, you know, and they have their their set melodies that they find and then mm-hmm. extrapolate on that, mm-hmm. which is good. You know, I just uh, I really understand why you need to be really fucking fucked up to really get into that vibe but you we weren't and we got into it we were yeah we weren't a couple couple of brewski i had uh, and we were and we were we were grooving stout uh stout stouts a couple of stouts i don't know 
had a couple beers. Yeah. You know, first set of beer and a second set of beer. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And it was groovy. It was groovy. I, I'm so glad we went. It was at a real nice venue in LA. Like, yeah, the Vaughn does a good spot. Yeah. I've seen it was Trey there. I've seen Mike there. I've seen all kinds of shows there. It was it's a great. Good, it's a good venue. The, um, I liked, like, I think one of the benefits of seeing them on the West Coast now that they're coming out here is that these venues are a little bit more intimate, right? Than their East Coast venues. Like, we were, it reminded me of like seeing them when I was, 20 kind there, was of. A, there was a good nostalgia factor yeah it was clear dude we went up to the rail i know like and no one you know there wasn't any like quilts or blankets or capes or i know i was looking around here i was like anything. where is this guy like we, i'm i'm like by the soundboard it was after this looking the around since started i like went back to where we were and i was like there and i was like i just saw this spot i was like i'm gonna go like up there and see what happens and i know what happened there was space and everyone was just like Enjoy themselves. So I went right fucking up to the front. And actually, like, that's fun. I know. And I texted you and you didn't respond because you had your like normal like dad sleep sleep time set. <laughs> yeah. So like the- my phone had already told me I needed to go to bed. Like so I needed to start winding down like an hour ago. Yeah. And you're supposed to be asleep. So I, you, I didn't hear back from you. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Did you like, break through? I broke through. Got and it. that's when I, I did get through. Through. Yeah. I broke through. I was like, all right, I guess I, could, I know he's here somewhere. He didn't leave. No, <laughs> he didn't leave. Um, but yeah, we went up to the rail, made some friends. The security guard up there was actually standing up and sleeping. <laughs> I didn't notice the guy like to the left of the rail. Yeah. He was he, sleeping. He was sleeping. I didn't notice that. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought he was going to flashlight us to keep us out because they were trying to keep like a, a lane way open on the side yeah. of the venue. But he was asleep. Okay, good. No wonder he gave a flashlight us. You know, I'm like, uh, it was late. I know they he started. Had a, he had a long day. Yeah, sure. it, was a, it was a it was a late show. Anyway, yeah, Disco Biscuits. Yeah, I'll check them out. Both. You know, they're they were ripping. playing great. They're playing great. Ripping. They were playing great. Yeah. They... For like twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. You know, I used to love. Like, I used to be really into, like, trance and electronic music and stuff. Like, I don't know, uh, what you know, uh, you know, Ministry of Sound, uh, you know. Like, I just, when I was in my youth, you know, and yeah. uh, all the accoutrements of, of youth. And, I, you know, I loved Fish. And then the only, my only other musical venue yeah. was, like, Raves. Like, and I did a lot of... You know, 4 a.m. like standing in front of the speaker, like yeah. pacifier. I mean, we don't need to get it here. Like, like, your hair mother hair. had a pacifier, and I had, but like your hair was like in pigtails, right? Yeah, oh, you had how you're like, yeah, sure, glow in the dark beads. And... I did have a sick pair of pants. I used oh. to call them like UFO pants. Do you remember those? Like they were like oh, parachute wide, material, and they had like ribbons and stuff on them. Yeah, yeah, I used to bust those out. Those were like night. doing your full your full steps. Those are yeah, that's for stepping hard, stepping hard. Yeah. So you know, even though I like to consider myself a little granola crunch on the old fish, uh, Dead and Co. Uh, Jerry Garcia and the thing. Those things. have many colors. You no, know, I just I'm things. saying in my youth and the electronica and the uh, synthesized nature of that whole environment really grabbed me for total a lot of years. There was a lot of room for expansion during the hiatus, right? Yeah, see, you know, and that and at that time the house trance dubstep craziness was was. In full force. Like, I remember seeing the disco business at, like, Lee's Palace in, like, 2000 or 99. And it was, like, this mix of, like, jam band, you know, guys with instruments that, like, lock in and have, like, a good thing going. And then, you know, some oomphs. Yeah. And it just, like, made sense. It, it did. It works. It was great. I'm really glad we went. We had a great time. Um, and, and then we woke up the next morning. Yeah. And turned our attention to Bobby. Well, because like they were shooting that reel at Sphere, and that leaked pretty quick. You know, they had the the steely on the outside of the Sphere, and every like thirty eight people recorded it and posted it on social media. So we knew, right? There was a Dead and Co. announcement announcement coming. You know, they came out of retirement <clears throat> just to you know 
one more Saturday night. One more Saturday night. And hallelujah. I'm so happy. It's I am we are so close to Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Like when I can get to Las Vegas quicker than I get can get to this high end <laughs> recording studio. Okay. Probably almost. True. Yeah. Like it's so accessible. The yeah. sphere is fucking absolutely bananas. Yeah. I can't wait to have a good time. I know. They started off with 18 shows, and then what did they end up with? At four in the afternoon, 20, what, six? No, 24. 24. They had a six more show. Six more shows? Yeah. Great. They had those in the pocket, just uh, depending. The, uh, yeah, we jumped on, uh, you know, we jumped on some uh, travel packages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. we. Uh, those were like overpay. I mean, the site that they use, like Vibe or whatever, that was a bit of a clusterfuck. It was very slow, and I got fucked up. But you got then, but I but then it all worked out in the it end. Didn't work so, out, so it's all good. But like, yeah, Ticketmaster on the other hand, they know how to expect this type of traffic. They're built for that, which is one thing that ticket bastards are capable of. You know, like when a, someone goes on sale, it's putting you in line, <clears throat> and it's this you know hot and by and then, that. and then when it's your turn, you're in there, and it's not like gonna be glitching on you. Well, but, you had a multi experience. Sure, the web page doesn't glitch, but there's no seats. Yeah. And immediately, every time I went into that pre artist pre sale, quote unquote, yeah, artist pre artist pre sale, which is just anyone that actually really wants to get tickets, yeah, which is everybody, because the lineup was immediately, you know, three, five, eight, ten, twenty thousand yeah. people deep. Every time I clicked, on, there was no floors. Floors were gone immediately. For me, the days I was like, mm. 100s, we, we we already know that. Those are not even going. Fraught with disappointment. They're not even going out. Well, because they're, when you click on them, they're all 30, row 33. I'm in the 200. Every time I click, as soon yeah. as the web, oh, you know, yeah. uh, I chased oh. 200 on that website for 10 minutes. There was all this pretense of like, you know, curbing scalpers and they announced the prices for like all these different tiers of p1 p2 p3 and then like when you finally break through on Ticketmaster with your artist pre-sale code the tickets are like 900 dollars. i know it was like what the fuck yeah like after like, i already given up in? like i i thought the most expensive yeah. ticket was gonna be 395 dollars or here it is i could purchase it right now because like am i even gonna get a ticket if i don't pay 900 dollars right now like fuck off i know after i bailed you called me and you're like hey i got these seats should should i get them they're 800 dollars. they're in the twos you know yeah i, I luckily I, we already you know locked some down so it was like no like i know like a board still like at that not there's like there was some it's the it's the ticket bastard uh like algorithm for demand that boosts up these platinum tickets for specific events. I know it's like full bullshit. They knew what was going to happen. Regular ticket on the wing of the 200s. What is platinum about that? It's like in the first like 20 rows of a section, but they weren't even the best seats. They were good seats. They were good seats, but they weren't the best seats, you know? Like, but if we didn't have travel packages, we would have. We probably would have made a move after seeing what happened with Fish. Yeah, but again, twenty four shows like lets a little steam out of the air. Can we talk, Trey? Well, as Eddie. you can see already, like on the secondary floors are six hundred bucks. Well, which is still expensive, you know. But I, I don't think that's going to hold. That's not going to hold. Like I think well, they went twenty four plus fees with twenty four shows. You think people are going to be underwater? Because uh, 200 could get plus points is getting close to six. But I think you can that. definitely get to that point. Well, we're in like the doldrums of the residency, yeah. which is like middle of May, June, June, yeah. end, end of May, beginning of June, when there's like, it's after Memorial Day. Everyone's pretty excited. Everyone's like blown their nut already. And they're like, I can't go back and spend another three grand. Right. Like, but I will go for 295. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like, and then the demand is just going to drop because people aren't going to want to spend that much because they've already done it. And like, maybe they'll be like, ah, I'll come back for 4th of July. Yeah. That weekend is going to be mental. Yeah. But like, build a weekend before. 
Yeah. Because people have already got their travel packages, right? For specific weeks. Yeah, they locked in there one weekend out real quick. Everyone I spoke to, you and others, were all like, hey, I'm going to lock down a couple and I'm going to zing back out for another few. Yeah, yeah. it was like the plan. I want to lock in some anchor points and like catch yeah. catch another couple weekends. I mean, fish is different than Dead & Co. Like the vast majority of fish heads are on the East Coast. There are a lot on the West Coast. Dead, a lot on West Coast. Yeah. I mean, there are huge following on the East Coast, but it's not like the discrepancy between fish and dead. Like there is... Three generations of deadheads that are gunning for tickets. So there will be demand and there will be people who are like, oh, I am I can get on a flight from Burbank or from Oakland and like just hit it tomorrow. Yeah. And oh, look, there's like tickets for 300 bucks and I can get in the building. I can stay at the Excalibur for $78. It's Thursday night. Let's fucking do it. Yeah, you know? that's that will so have people talking about. It's like, hey, dude, we can get on a last minute flight the yeah. day before. And I'm sure that'll happen, but... but Everybody's going to be playing the game, you know, and I think the scalpers are the ones who are going to be getting cold feet because cold. they're going to be have a lot tied up in tickets for these events. And when push comes to shove, six o'clock on a Friday and they're listed them for 600 bucks and there's 50 other tickets listed for the same price, they're going to draw. The thing that was confusing to me is they said, just like you too, which Fish did not do, by the way. Yeah. They said floors are non risk uh, transferable or right? refundable so, yeah or refundable or refundable right so like you buy floors they're yours bro like you're yeah. going you gotta go to the show like you have to scan it in the best you can do is scan your buddy in that you sold them to like that yeah. but you gotta be at the door of the sphere to make that happen right Unless once you give them like your email address like log obviously in. yes you could log yes, in and my sure. thing whatever but like that's yeah. not the way you know no, like the want to make it happen that I'm significantly reduces demand but then I not a bad I, idea, but I saw floors, but then I saw floors. Like I can go buy yeah. floors right now on StubHub for six hundred bucks. So it's like I don't really understand. I don't understand that either. A buddy of ours was saying something about how it's like man managed. I guess like there's like tiers of tickets and like even before he's like it's could be management selling. I don't mean like their management, but he was just saying like there are tickets. Oh. Like, you know, like well there is that plug in the structure right there's that whole other like illusion of Ticketmaster and their own secondary sales right or like they try to milk right so they just bought more, their own tickets and they're selling them for double they didn't even buy them they just yeah. like held them back right. and then they gauge the secondary market and they throw them on the ticket ticket master secondary and make an extra 150 bucks that is dirty business yeah well we all know that we all know Ticketmaster does everything and anything to fuck you well like Economics 101. These guys got to figure it out. They can, they just have monopolize elasticity that in top one. Well, yeah, sure. Number one, it's a ticket monopoly. But number two, they can just like in real time tier the pricing to whatever the desperation is. From guys like us who are on their day one selling desperate $800 tickets, calling them platinum on like in the 200s and then trickle it down. I mean, it's really just brilliant. That's ticket master calling no. them platinum. No, that's what I need. No, I don't. That's you know yeah. what I'm saying. It's like if they're a master of pricing power and strategy it's just like brutal anyway it'll be fun i hope i'm really looking forward to it it'll be fun oh it'll be and fun. it's like easy breezy you know like dead and co for me is a completely different experience than fish obviously but i just mean even like the ancillary the trimmings and the trappings like i'm gonna fly in i'm gonna go to dinner i'm gonna be with my wife i mean you know what i mean i'm gonna go to the show yeah. We're going to leave the show. We're going to hang out. Yeah, I feel like fish is like a fucking sprint. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's high stress. Yeah. It's just like, I'm just amped up. It's like, it's like important. It's like, I need to beat, like, it's just everything is centered around that and like maximizing that time. Yeah. I was like, Daddy, no, it's like one more Saturday night. Like, yeah, let's just, let's just let's like, have a good time. Who's over there? Yeah. Set up shop. One thing that I'm very curious about is like, how many people are actually going to get hurt? This is something that we're about to see. Yeah. Okay. Because like the YouTube crowd is very different. Very different. Fish crowd. Fish is going to go in there and there's going to be some fuck a hundred. No. There's going to be 17,000. Yeah. But like degenerates. In, in, the, in the upper deck where it is like steep. On the precipice. 
scientifically designed to be on the precipice of vertigo. People right. get vertigo up there. Well, that's I was I reading somewhere. The floor. I was reading somewhere that like there is a scientific knowledge of threshold, all threshold yeah. of vertigo, and they took the seats, yeah, and this experience in the sphere in the three and four hundreds to the point where it's like just right there, and there's like these suggestions that are made by, sit down. that it's like when you're walking from to or from your seat look at your feet right don't look at anything else all look at your feet don't look up don't look sideways don't look anywhere but down and then when you're in your seat and you start fucking tripping out with vertigo sit down and look down look down at but like solitary ground but like no one's ground like at the u2 concert when you look down the ground is stable yeah okay at the yeah. fish show when you look down and ground ain't stable that's all i'm saying it's like a magic carpet <laughs> okay Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, how many people lose their minds? People yeah. might tap out. Like, in the how many the, seats in the four hundred? There might be wolves in the hallway. You know when people get into the you know the 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 outside of like a spinners, like when the spinners they go out into the yeah. hallways. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I think people might be like sitting down, <laughs> yeah, spirit, like in the hallway. I a really moment. think that like there will be emergency, yes, injury. People just like taking a flying leap, not off the deck, but like tripping, tripping. Yeah. Literally, literally tripping. Like tripping. there's going to be, let's say in the three and 400 section, I don't know how many seats things. there are specifically like, let's say 5,000, 8,000 of the seats sure. are in the three and four hundreds. Yes. The percentage of people who are going to be on psychedelic drugs is probably like 50% minimum. Mm-hmm. Right. Probably. So we're talking about thousands of people yes. who are going to be tripping out of their minds. This is like an MK Ultra experiment. Like with nothing leaning on, nothing when they are standing up. Right. Right. If they lean forward, they're just they're toppling. Toppling over the people on the people like in front of them. start a whole fucking snowball chain reaction of people like fucking just falling all over each other. There could just be like a avalanche. They bring a poncho because someone's gonna hurt Oh my God. An umbrella. <laughs> There's also some policy at the sphere that like if the person in in front of you or the person behind you is sitting you have to sit i don't know how they're going to fucking enforce that there's not there's no one for you <laughs> you know there's no enforcing barely any rules at these yeah but you're right like i think when i was on the floor for you two yeah okay there was a moment when there was you know the sphere was showing movement like down it was like cycling down into the floor mm-hmm. i had a moment where i felt like the floor was moving up right like it corresponding like whoa yeah and i was just on the floor standing on the floor like a regular with, sober with all with all these humans sober with all these humans like heads the stage like all these anger oh, points i was in the floor okay yeah. i was on the ground with much physical stimulus like eyeball points around me and even I was like, damn, I almost fucking fell <laughs> for a well, second. I'm telling you, I wonder if anything is about to get wild. Even at U2, like if people have had injuries. Because people at U2, they're like, yeah, they're not pros. I mean, look, people who go to fish shows and, and stuff are professional. It, it, even the pros go fucking down. Like, remember that guy at Disco Biscuits? <laughs> Little, her buddy? Her buddy, what a guy. I was locked down. He didn't go down. Oh, he but he, he pro. He was, he, he, was, he was uh, flirting. On the edge of gravity. He was right on the edge of a very deep, dark hole. He might have actually fallen. <laughs> he, was, that was, he was in. Yeah, he was definitely and, in a hole. Like, there are going to be people like that who, like... Which you can't read the four hundreds. I know. They like, like, reach out. Nothing. And there's nothing there. Like, I know <clears throat> at a normal arena or stadium or whatever, when you're in reserve seats, you have the seat in front of you that you can like rest your knees against, sure. right? Lean forward, rest your knees against. Like you have that like, reference point, <clears throat> that reference point of like yeah. how far you can go. Whereas this is like I'm assuming I've never been, but like I feel like the seat, uh, maybe your feet can kick the seat in front of you, but like there's it. nothing. That's your feet. I wonder what the fuck can be. There's going to be some serious. I'm on the floor, bro. If I'm going to the street, I mean, where now? Like the floor. Even for Dad and Co, I'm going to the floor because the floor is solid ground, and it, the floor is great at the sphere. It's scary. You look up. It's scary. There's gonna be there's gonna be something happening. Yeah. Hopefully not. Praise the Lord. Please, no 
injuries, but it seems like inevitable with this type of crowd coming in. It, it is interesting that Dolan, like they took, okay, you two, perfect person to open the sphere. It's really like so unoffensive, so incredible, so universal, right? Yeah. And like caters to people who love music and caters to people who happen to be in Vegas with their loved ones, you know, to just go see a show because they're spending money, all these things, caters to everything. Yeah. And then he just went like, then they just went like, okay, now we're going to test the limits. First, we're bringing in fish for a couple nights to see what like, like the, the, like grade A DJs come up with. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then we're going to, then we're going to bring in a month or basically two months or more of dead and co burnouts. And they'll spin around in circles, but it's like less intense. Like it's a lot, the shows are less intense. Yeah, but there's not so necessarily way more, just as many freaks. Yeah, there are. We're, and by freaks, I mean people who are going to be freaking out. Yeah. You know? But I guess like whatever I've seen, I mean, I guess I saw Dead and Co at the forum too, but like I'm thinking like what I'm really thinking is like Dodger Stadium or like, you know, San Francisco or whatever, you know, like they're big and it's open and it's airy and it's nice. Know, it's different. I know. Yeah, this will be kind of a test. Anyway, yeah, we shall see. Wow. If anybody has any... Uh, we have a real spring ahead of us. Oh, nice job. Ripping springtime. I know. Of shows and music. And the rumors up. about Fish's tour is that they're going to be swinging through the West Coast. Yeah. Oh, well, like Oregon and... Forum. Back to the Forum. You, a week ago, you told me that. No. You said, no okay. chance. I'm seeing different rumors now. They're evolving. Rumors evolving. Forum, Chase, fucking back to the that. usual. I don't know. Get back to the Hollywood Bowl. Boys, one night. Yeah. It was one night. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll hear about it this week. 